Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we are going to be going over three separate things, and the first one being where you guys can go ahead and find Madame Nazar for today. The second thing that we're actually going to go over is all of the different collection sets and their current cycles. And then last but not least, we're going to go over all of the daily challenges in extensive detail so that you guys can earn as much gold as possible here in Red Dead Online. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started by showing you right where you can find a Madame Nazar for today. And Madame Nazar's location will actually be at Montica Falls for today, making... McFarland's Ranch, the fast travel destination of choice for today. So just make your way pretty much straight east and you'll be able to find Mad Mazar, no problem. But if this is the only thing that you guys came here for today, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. A like definitely goes a long way here on the channel. It shows your support. It tells me that you want me to continue making these types of videos. And honestly, it helps me grow here on YouTube. Um, so throwing a like on this video definitely is a very much appreciated and honestly it takes like two seconds of your time to go ahead and do that All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing and that's going to be talking about the different collection sets and their current cycles Now if you guys are going to do collecting this is the best way of earning money here in Red Dead Online But you do need to be a collector in order to do that now There are a couple different sets that you can be Don't have to be a collector at all But you do need to be a collector in order to sell, sell those and we're going to get into those in just a moment However, if you do all of the collection sets, you can actually make $4,000 every single day. You do need the field shovel and the metal detector in order to do that. But if you're doing using the metal detector and the field shovel, the best sets are going after the coins and the lost jewelry just because you do make $540 per hour and it will take you about three to three and a half hours to complete. So coins are going to be a part of cycle number five and the lost jewelry will be a part of cycle number two for today. Uh, family heirlooms will be a part of cycle four and arrowheads will be a part of cycle two those also require the field shovel and or the metal detector then last but not least we got all the daily or all the collection sets that don't require you to be a collector but like i said earlier you do need to be a collector in order to sell them so if you guys want to make a ton of money this is what you guys are going to need to do so you won't be able to sell them until you have that collector bag american wildflowers at cycle number one the tarot cards at cycle number six the antique alcohol bottles at cycle number five and the bird eggs at cycle number one for today. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. But before we actually do that, I just want to talk a little bit about memberships. Uh, I do have memberships available. So if you guys would like to further support me as a content creator, definitely check that out. There's a variety of different options. So whatever you guys can actually do would be greatly appreciated um, as I rely on you guys. And I do this full time. So anything that you guys can do to help me out is greatly appreciated so that I can continue making these types of videos for you guys. Also, uh, I did say that to like, comment, and subscribe earlier, 80% uh, of you guys that currently watch my videos each and every single day aren't currently subscribed to my channel. Make sure that you guys just click on the subscribe button, just like that like button, a couple seconds of your time, and you won't be disappointed that you guys did that. Let's go ahead and move on to the daily challenges for today. Now, the daily challenges, I'm just going to quickly go over that list, and then we're going to break them down in detail. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We have five English mace picked. Um, we got two gang hideouts cleared. One jumped from a horse to another horse. Three non-player enemies hats shot off. One petted a dog. Five redfin pickerel caught. And then one visited a shop in tumbleweed. Three Moonshine bootlegger missions completed. One Moonshine sold with five minutes left. Two played with a band for two minutes. A distance of 15,830 by delivery wagon while on a mission. That's going to be for the trading roll. $200 of money made from trading. Two resupply missions completed. Three American wildflowers found. Five bird eggs found. Three lost jewelry found. One bounty hunt completed with five minutes or more left. One hard or legendary bounty mission completed, and then one player bounty collected. All right, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the daily challenges. You guys can actually earn 11 gold bars every single day from doing the daily challenges. There's, there's, there's just two requirements. That's it. Number one is to do one daily challenge for 21 days in a row, which is pretty easy peasy. It just takes a little bit of time because you have to do that for 21 days in a row. And then the other thing that you guys are going to want to do is make sure that you guys have all of your uh, different uh, you played out your all of your different uh, roles available. 
and then be at least a rank uh, 10 in each of those rolls as well. And as you can see, we were able to get one of those out of the way, easy peasy. Like literally just a couple seconds. So not too bad. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy though. All right, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So we just basically covered how to jump from one horse to another. Um, and honestly, these are really easy. There's really no other opportunity to make this much gold every single day here in Red Dead Online, unless you guys are going to play Showdown for like eight hours. And uh, quite frankly, I don't really want to do that. So good luck to you guys that actually do that every single day. Uh, so English Mace picked. I'm actually going to show you guys a really good location that I recommend that you guys go to, especially if you're going to be down by Montica Falls for today. So this is going to be just outside of um, McFarland Ranch right here. We're going to focus like right in this general area right here. So just a little bit to the, uh, to the west of this S, we got English Mace here. We have some that's going to be about here uh, of the T, somewhere right around that area. There's actually... Uh, a grouping of it right here then another grouping right below or right on top of the hillside right about there you can also find some more right about here about here and about there that should be plenty enough for you guys because they spawn pretty much in one to three every single time and i just gave you guys seven different locations so you, sh you should be able to find the English Maze pretty easy peasy. All right, the next one on the list is to clear gang hideouts, and this is going to be two of them. Let me show you guys the loop that I used to use all the time. I haven't done gang hideouts in quite some time just because I haven't really looked for them. But you have Twin Rocks is a good one. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to come to Armadillo, head north to Twin Rocks. Right about here will be another one. This is like Rattlesnake something or another right in this location right here. And you're going to ride all the way over here into Gap Tooth Ridge at this location right here. Then you're going to come down to Gap Tooth Breach, which is the mining facility. You have one at Sea of Coronado, Coronado which is right here. You have one at Solomon's Foldy, which is south of Benedict Point. You have Repentance Rock, which is west, or I'm sorry, east of Benedict Point. Fort Mercer. And then Jorge's Gap, pretty much right on the U. And then you're going to repeat that loop. So there's like seven different opportunities that you guys do. It will take you about a day in the game to go basically a full loop. But um, honestly, it's really not that bad. And if you guys are lucky enough, you guys can get this done in one loop. So I guess I wish you guys the best of luck with the gang hideouts if that's something that you guys pursue. Next one on the list is jump from a horse to another horse. That's really easy. You guys saw how easy that was to do. Three non-player enemy hat shot off. Um... You guys can actually do this from a couple different areas. You guys can get, either do this at Van Horn or... Um, so Van Horn is going to be up here. You could do this down at uh, Thieves Landing, which is going to be down here. Or any bootlegger mission. A bootlegger mission or even like a gang hideout will not actually affect your honor. So if you guys are going to do the gang hideouts, you guys could probably do this together. What you're going to do, instead of flicking up to get a headshot, you flick just a little bit more, not much more. And you're going to be able to aim at their hat. Obviously, the enemy has to have a hat on anyway. But uh, you guys can get it shot off. But if you guys go to Thieves Landing or Van Horn, you can do the same thing there. As soon as you shoot like one person, the whole town will pretty much come after you. Making it pretty easy to get the hat shot off. I recommend that you guys go ahead and use the Varmint Rifle for this. Um, but you can also use... I mean, you can use whatever gun you honestly want to use. But the Varmint Rifle is just a little bit easier in my opinion. All right, the next one on the list for today is pet a dog. Uh, there's a couple different locations that you guys can go to. There's actually, we have to visit a shop in Tumbleweed anyway today. So again, you guys can go to any shop in Tumbleweed. I recommend the butcher just because you never have to actually get off the horse, but you can go to either the general store or the gunsmith. It doesn't matter. But usually right next to the butcher table, there is a dog that's chilling there. And if that dog is there, then you can just get off the horse and pet it. And you guys can get two of them done at the exact same time. Otherwise, if it's not there and you guys have a camp and you have a camp dog, you guys can always go to your camp. Otherwise, another good location is going to be at the Emerald Station fence. There's usually a dog kind of hanging out in this area. So that's pretty close to where I usually have my camp and also my moonshine check. Um... I know there's a couple of other places that you guys can typically go to, but those are the places that are I'm most common with. Otherwise, um, Ruskeller Fort, 
usually has two or three dogs kind of sitting there as well, which again is not that far away from enough tumbleweed. So if that dog is not at tumbleweed and you want to get that butcher one done visiting a shop and then go north to uh, Rusklar Fort, it'll take you only like an extra two minutes to ride up there. Pretty easy peasy. That's covered, uh, visited a shop in tumbleweed. We have five redfin pickerel caught. Um, pretty much any body of water is going to work just fine. I like the Dakota River area or the upper or lower Montana rivers. Those are my favorite places to go fishing. You guys, they will prefer bread bait, but any otherwise, for the most part, they will prefer food over any type of lure, but you can catch them with a special spinner. So bread bait is going to be your best option, but you will catch other fish by doing that. So just be in for a little bit of a fishing experience if you choose to do this daily challenge. Now, the next one on the list is to do three bootlegger missions. That's what I was kind of talking about just a little bit ago. If you guys want to do that or the gang hideouts to get the hat shot off, you can either talk to Maggie or they will randomly happen around the world. doesn't matter which way you prefer to do that. The nice thing about to do, doing the bootlegger missions anyways, you guys can get discounted mesh for whenever you do the next moonshine production. You have to sell your moonshine with five minutes remaining or more remaining on the clock. So basically sell your moonshine as fast as you possibly can. The next one is to play with the band. For two minutes this is going to take a total of four minutes but once you start playing with the band you can actually walk away you can grab yourself a drink a snack whatever you guys want to do um but it will take four minutes in total time in order to get this one completed we have a distance of 15,838 by delivery wagon while on a mission this is going to be basically equivalent to two distant deliveries which can take anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes a piece in order to get those done so if you guys really want to get this one done look at spending about 20 minutes or so or even longer when you guys are doing this one right here. You have to make $200 of money made from trading anyway. So selling um, a distant one or a even a local delivery will get you that money. Personally, I would prefer doing, if I had 100 goods, I would sell to a local one anyway. There's a lot less risk involved. And you really don't make that much money, more money when you do the distant delivery anyway. So I would recommend if you have 100 goods, just sell it locally anyway. Two rest, resupply missions completed. Now... This will require a little bit of time in between, about 20 minutes to half an hour in between each resupply mission. Um, fortunately, you can't pay for them. You do have to actually do them yourself in order to get these ones completed. We have three American wildflowers found, which again, American wildflowers are going to be a part of cycle number one. And then bird eggs will also be a part of cycle number one. Lost jewelry will be a part of cycle number two. So if you guys have different... Um, collection sets that you guys are going after depending on what your current role and rank is at in the collector role then you guys might have to check out what my previous uh what i said the previous cycles were for each of the collection sets we have one bounty hunt completed with five minutes or more left basically do a bounty hunt as fast as you possibly can you could do a large um, a hard or legendary bounty if you guys do the hard then you could try to do it with five minutes or more remaining on the clock that way you can actually get this done i prefer that if you're going to do the hard it's faster but if you're going to do legendary you're going to be you're going to get a little bit more out of it i like legendary bounties a little bit better but if you guys are trying to do these two together you could i would do the hard and get it done with five minutes more or left on the clock one player bounty collected. You could either one of do two ways. You could either naturally have this happen, but good luck to that. Otherwise, what you can do is bring a friend. Don't be in the same posse. And what you guys are going to do is have one person shoot the other player. The person that's getting a shot will cons consistently and constantly, you know, press charges on that other player. And then as soon as they get the player bounty, the person will be able to bring them in for and collect that reward. And then you guys just go ahead and reverse the roles. And that's all you got to do to get that one completed. That is all the daily challenges done, gone over, and covered. If you guys do have any questions regarding any of the daily challenges, by all means, leave a comment down below so that I can do my best to help you guys out. But if you guys did enjoy the video in any way or have found it helpful in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.